okay. There is a hidden epidemic amongst us, and I don't mean coronavirus. This silent killer is liver disease. Did you know one in five of us are now at risk? Deaths from liver disease have increased by 400% since the 1970s. And liver cancer is now the fastest rising cause of cancer death in the UK. Now liver cancer is often detected late when treatment options are limited. So in my thesis, I'm focusing on how we can potentially use our body's own immune system to develop new therapies targeting liver cancer. In the past, immune therapies have been tried, but only a small number of people respond. So I'm looking at an alternative approach. I'm focusing on a subset of unconventional immune cells called gamma delta T cells, which are present in our blood and tissues. Interestingly, the more of these cells there are in a tumor, the more likely that person is to survive. And what's really exciting is that one person's gamma delta cells can work equally well in another person. So there could be the potential for a future pan-population immune therapy. In my project, I've found that these cells normally sit in our healthy human livers and show strong anti-cancer properties. But in people with liver cancer, these cells are fewer in number and dysfunctional. So I've developed ways to isolate these cells from a person, expand to multiply their numbers in the laboratory, boost their anti-cancer function, and express signals to then help guide them back to the tumor site. However, it's not so simple. At the same time, the cancer cells create a harsh environment in the tumor. They release molecules that can bind to our own immune cells and essentially apply breaks, stopping them from functioning. So in part two of my project, I'm testing ways to remove these breaks, to rescue the cells within the tumor and recover their ability to kill the cancer cells. In conclusion, every year in the UK, 6,000 people are newly diagnosed with liver cancer and only 12% will survive to five years. Our hope is that by combining these new immune therapy strategies, we can develop more effective therapies to help combat this aggressive disease.